Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you doing today? How was your long, long vacation <laughs> for three weeks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for uh, being here on time. Okay. So, uh, we're going to wait for the rest, but this three minutes before uh, the time, um, tell me, tell me um, about you. Did you study? Did you review the, the, the material or did you uh, read the, the books? Uh, yes, teacher. I yes. read the, the past, the better. I read, uh, I read uh -huh, the past. Yes. Uh, some uh, you remember video, video, in English. Okay. Also, as, as you study video. a movie. Okay. Mm. Watched movies. Okay. Good. Good practice, Gilberto. Yes. Thank you. What about you, Robert? What did you do to practice your English? Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. I'm very well. Thank you so much for asking. How are you? Very good, teacher. Um, in that vacation, I checked my vocabulary. I checked my last class. And right now, I am very happy because I am studying an intermediate class. Intermediate one. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm happy also to be here with you. So now you are intermediate students. That is really, really good. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Robert. Daniela, Lisette, welcome back. Sorry, How are you doing today, Daniela? Um, you know, um, How I, are you? I I work. <laughs> I work every day. Okay, and how are you? Are you okay? Are you happy to start a new model? Yes, I'm happy. Okay. Tell us, what did you do to practice your English during these uh, three weeks that you didn't receive um, classes? What did you do? Mm -hmm. The practice family member. Did you practice with a family member? Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, time, the time. Okay. Um, word, word. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that is good that, that you, if you practice, if you, if you have been um, reviewing the previous material or the previous topics, okay, that is excellent. Okay, good, Daniela. Hi, Hazel. Hi, Miss, good evening. <laughs> good evening, everyone that is joining us at this moment. <laughs> Okay, what about you, Hazel? Tell us, uh, what did you do? I, I have a lot of work <laughs> and 
Yes, uh, I I practice sometimes with the manual and and the information that you provide, but it was a it, it wasn't a vacation really. <laughs> no, because no. you were working and you, and yeah. and studying. Okay, right. Okay, that was good. But that is the main purpose, okay? That you uh, that you practice your English, okay? That um, because if you just study when you have to do it, right? But you don't have contact with the language in the day, in the in the weeks that you are not studying, so probably you will forget uh. Um, I don't know. You will forget maybe topics that you already studied. That is why it is important that um you get in contact with the language, okay? That you practice and practice. If you have the opportunity to practice with someone else, that will be perfect. But if you if you don't have someone else who will you can practice with so you can do it by yourself so reading um watching movies videos listening to music okay so different ways that you can practice okay good um welcome everyone uh lady tell me about you what did you do? And how was uh, this vacation, <laughs> the vacations for three weeks? <laughs> um, I, uh, I, I was sick. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> for three weeks. Really? These three weeks? Oh no, I'm really sorry about that. Thank you, Miss. I'm not father Cassie. I'm not un poquito fónica. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, I understand. No problem. Really sorry about that. But I hope that you get uh, better, okay? And that we can practice. Okay. Thank you, <clears throat> lady. Okay, Julio Aristides. Welcome back. What about okay. you? Uh, me, I don't have vacation. I am working on vacation. Um, maybe two days with my family, uh, busy, uh, busy to the grandmother of my wife. Okay, did you go to visit your grandmother? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do? to I mean to study English what did you do to practice oh teacher um uh, make yeah I am practice um saying videos okay uh, okay um uh listen uh, Spotify Listening to music, okay. Listening to Spotify, okay. Uh, I am seeing videos. Um, watching videos. Watching okay? videos. Watching videos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Take take advantage, okay. Uh, um, if you are going to see a um, well, if you have in mind that you want to watch a, a movie, do it in English, okay. We, uh, do it. Do that in English and just add the subtitles, okay? That will help you. Yeah, okay. uh, the English for me, is actually, currently, is like a stereogram. Uh, do you know stereogram? Yes. Okay. Uh, because it's, uh, it's like a, a going um i don't know uh, maybe in spanish 
es como ir viendo de a poco, como ir aperturando poco a poco, como los estereogramas. Cuando uno comienza a verlo, tiene que girar los ojos, voltearlo. De hecho, eh, la parte del inglés la siento un poco así, pero sí me agrada. Me agrada el hecho de, de ir entrando como de a poco e ir eh, interpretando algunas cosas que antes no, lo, no las podía interpretar. Pero sí, yo creo que vamos por buen camino. Ok, that is good. Little by little, Julio. Little yes. by little. Yeah. Ok, good, very good. Thank you so much. Ok, and we have a new student. <laughs> Rodrigo, welcome. How are you Hello. today? Nice to meet you all. Nice and to meet I'm, you. I'm very good. I recently ate my dinner and drinking my coffee. Okay. So uh, I pay attention for everyone, uh, but I don't know what are you talking about right now. Uh, maybe you can help me. Oh, no. We are just talking about um, what they have done during these three weeks that we didn't have classes because oh, okay. uh, the last model, I was, uh, I mean, in the model number six, basic uh, model number six with them. So we already know each other. That is why we were speaking about what they have done uh, during these three previous week that they okay. didn't receive classes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, well, uh, as you say, I'm, I'm, I'm new. I, <laughs> I, be, I, uh, I begin uh, this class today with you. So nice to meet you all. Uh, everything I you need help. Maybe I can help you. Um, I have, I think I have a intermediate intermediate in English, but my difficult part is the the oral part. It's, it's time to uh, maintain a conversation. Uh, some words uh, the pronunciation. But I think I, 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 I can do something. Oh, no. Okay. No, don't worry. So we are here to, uh, to practice. Okay. Thank you. Thank yes. you very much. Uh, yes. I consider that you have uh, the level to be here. So don't worry about that. You can keep a conversation. So the main purpose to be here is to improve our English skills. Okay. All the okay. skills. Thank you. Okay, welcome, Rodrigo. Thank you, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, welcome back, Silvia Estela. Hello. Hello. Silvia Estela, uh, do you remember the problem that we have last model with your microphone? Please try to change your device, okay? Uh, Cambies, cambies de computadora, or if you have a cell phone, you can do it from your cell phone, okay? But because we can understand anything, um, I guess that is a problem in that specific device that you're using at this moment. Please try to change that device, okay? You can use the chat too. But yes, I, in order you can participate, Silvia, Estela, please change your computer or cell phone or tablet that you are using. Okay, good. Uh, Kathy Briseida. Welcome Good back. evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? How are you today, Kathy? Um, Okay. okay. Tell tell us about your your vacations. I said vacations. I don't know. Maybe you were <laughs> working, but uh, the the three days that the three weeks. I'm sorry that we didn't receive classes. Tell me, what did you do to practice your English? Yes. Um. Download an application to practice pronunciation in English. Pronunciation. Okay. Yes. Good. What else? Read the word. Okay. So, do you consider that you are ready to start this new model? 
Yes. Okay, that is excellent. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Okay. Maria Leticia. Maria Leticia, are you there? Yes. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Uh, Okay, uh, how do you feel today, Maria Leticia? Can you hear me? Well, I guess she has a problem with her microphone. Um, so, oh, okay. <laughs> Yes, we can I... listen to you now. Yes. Okay, tell us, uh, what did you do these uh, weeks, these three weeks that you didn't receive classes? What did you do to practice your English skills? Um... Muy poco. <laughs> you didn't practice? No practice at all? Uh, no much. Okay. Well, remember, okay, um, to practice the the. I mean, if you have one week, two weeks, right? Um, between the models, okay. So take advantage of that time to improve what you consider that you need to that you need to learn or that you need, that you need to practice, okay. So, for example, if you consider that you need to practice uh, past tense, try to practice, okay, the past tense. Uh, if you need, if you consider that, that you need to to practice like um, vocabulary about any topic, try to do that, okay? Try to practice and learn the new vocabulary that you consider that will help you in the future, okay? Thank you, Maria okay. Uh, Leticia. Okay, Sofia Crespo. How are you doing, Sophie? Sofia? Sofia Karina Crespo? Yes, ella envió un mensaje al chat. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't work. Okay. Thank you. Uh, recuerden cuando van a estar de oyente, escriban la palabra oyente, así como Andrés Martínez lo ha hecho, ¿ok? Parecía no equivocarme y no lo voy a estar llamando porque sé que solo están escuchando. Ok. Uh, William Roque. ¿Estás there, William? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm fine today. Okay. Nice to see you again. Uh, tell us about your three weeks. What did you do? What did you do to practice English? Eh, ¿Cuál es mi motivación de practicar inglés? No, sí. what did you do? No. ¿Qué hizo usted para practicar el inglés during these three weeks that you didn't receive any class? Bueno, en el tiempo de vacaciones lo que hice fue estudiar más que todo lo, el, el verbo to be porque es, siento que es lo que me cuesta un poquito más, como las conjugaciones y todo eso. Ok. The verb to be in the present and, and also past tense. I remember that we already studied um, um, past tense about the verb to be. Okay. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, you are free to request any refresher of any topic. Okay. Uh, if you consider that you, we need to go back any topic that you don't remember, please let me know. We can do that space to review that specific topic, okay? 
podemos hacer el espacio para repasar algo que ustedes creen que les cuesta y que necesitan um, mejorar. ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, 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 voy a hacer la pregunta en español, tal uh -huh. vez para, para los demás. Okay. Eh, como yo, pues, si entro ahorita, quiero saber, digamos, eh, qué es lo que se ha visto en el pasado o qué es lo que se va a ver ahora en el presente. O sea, no sé si se vieron tiempos pasados, eh, presente, futuro, o están viendo, van a empezar a ver aquí pasado. Eso, para ir más o menos yo entrando en contexto. Vimos, sí, eh, parte de, del pasado ya, en el ciclo, en el, en el módulo que se dio, en el módulo 6, el último del básico. Vimos, ok, parte del pasado, pero igual vamos a continuar um, en este módulo también. Ya les voy a enseñar el material que vamos a usar, ok. Okay, so uh, you, uh, as, a, as I understand, uh, you review the, uh, I don't know, the deal, uh, maybe was, I mm -hmm. don't know, if, yes. if, it, if it is the, the, uh, the past tense. Correct. That okay. it, is, it is the same material that you use maybe with someone else. If you have been studying before, the previous models it is the same material okay that that we used to to study the basic uh model. maybe maybe i can i want uh, maybe i can request uh, that material because uh, i don't have it or i don't know if, if the platform has it it is well the previous model it is in the it is uh, Mm, well, for this model, for this mm -hmm. number one, yes, it is in the platform. I will let you know where it is okay. right now, and I can send that to to the chat, to the WhatsApp okay. chat too. Okay? Please. Okay. Rodrigo, Thank I you. have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. Did you study the basic English in the previous uh, model here at this uh, no no. Uh, no i i'm i'm, I'm become the this uh, this this model uh, this mo uh, this model uh the first time so uh, i'm first. new here uh, i don't have any other uh, in the past any any other models so uh, this is my first time here uh, with you Mm. Uh, well, that's uh, in my test, in my English test, have the intermediate uh, level, so that's why because I'm here, but oh. in, in the past, any other models, no. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Okay, I can give you also the material, well, for the previous models, I don't have all of them because uh, um, in the basic um, le the basic level we have six models okay i have model one model model two and model six i remember okay, but i don't maybe, i don't have the material can, for the others okay maybe it, 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 it will it, it will be very helpful for me mm -hmm. because uh, i have i i i have some confused with some words in the past confusions uh, okay and it will help me to, to review and study that. Okay, we are going to do that. Okay, very Thank good, you. very good. So let me, uh, let me share it with you a little bit information about this model. Okay, so esas instrucciones están en español, ustedes ya las saben, uh, son, la mayoría es familiar con, con, con toda la información, pero para Rodrigo, que es nuevo, él va a iniciar con, con nosotros o con uh, inglés corporativo, INSAFOR, ese primer nivel. Para él sí va a ser muy útil esta información. Eh, bueno, vamos a hablar de las tareas y evaluaciones. Para pasar el, el nivel es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente, ¿ok? Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. 
nosotros vamos a, a trabajar en ellas. A mí me gusta dejar por lo menos cinco minutos para trabajar las tareas juntos y así vamos todos al mismo nivel. Vamos avanzando en cada tarea porque cada clase tiene una tarea, ¿ok? Algunos estudiantes, um, no desconozco el motivo por el cual no las hacen y por eso van acumulando las tareas. A mí no me gusta que eso pase, por eso trato de darles cinco minutos para que la hagamos después de la clase, ¿ok? Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. Si en la semana, bueno, en, en, en la semana hay una unidad que vamos a cubrir, esa unidad tiene una sección, esa sección tiene cinco tareas. Entonces, tenemos que hacer las cinco tareas ¿okay? eh, durante la semana. O si por algún motivo usted no pudo hacerla una diariamente, que es la que hacemos, puede hacerlas un día que usted tenga más tiempo, pero para el viernes que ya esté eh, completa, ¿okay? la excepción de la semana. Las fechas de ejecución de este módulo será a partir de hoy, que es 21 de agosto, al 25 de septiembre. Ok. Uh, okay. Tenemos, tenemos un meter exam, que es, con, es a mediado de, de, del módulo. Um, lo vamos a hacer el primero de septiembre, ese examen. Y el final uh, lo vamos a hacer un día antes de finalizar el módulo, que sería el 24 de septiembre. Ok. El manual que vamos a usar para esta para esta clase, para este módulo, puede ser descargado de la plataforma. Ya le voy a mostrar a Rodrigo cómo se descarga. Los demás eh, pienso que ya saben cómo hacerlo, pero igual lo voy a mostrar. No se utilice material de terceros en ninguna sesión. ¿okay? A mí me gusta eh, buscar material extra, no solamente utilizar ese material, ¿okay? pero es material como para más práctica, ¿ok? Links y cualquier herramienta que podamos usar para practicar un poco más del tema. Ok, requerimientos. Cuando ustedes se conecten a la plataforma, cuando se conecten a la clase, por favor, eh, agregar el nombre completo. En el caso que usted va a estar de oyente por algún motivo, que no me puede avisar, Igual, si me avisa, por favor, siempre agregar la palabra oyente para no confundirme al momento que yo eh, pido que participen, ¿ok? Porque sí me gusta que todos participen. Eh, la cámara se pide que esté encendida durante la sesión, ¿ok? La mayoría no la enciende. Eh, no lo sé por qué, pero se pide que esté encendida. Yo no reporto eso. Créanme que no lo reporto. Pero igual, eh, puedo ver el compromiso de ustedes, si ustedes están, yo sé, prestando atención, yo puedo ver por medio de una pantalla que usted sí está prestando atención, o si usted está con la cámara apagada, igual puede estar haciendo otra cosa, yo no voy a saber, pero cuando yo le pregunte, quiero que me responda, ¿ok? Esa es otra forma de verificar si usted me está poniendo atención. Ok, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Eh, si usted no tiene ningún ruido en su casa, puede tener siempre el, micróf el micrófono abierto, no hay problema, pero yo sé que no va a haber ninguna interrupción. Okay? Pero si hay niños, está la tele encendida o cualquier otro ruido que tenga, por favor, manténgalo apagado y solo cuando yo le indique, usted lo puede encender. Okay. Participación activa. Okay. Se requiere pa participación activa. Uh, créanme que eh, yo nunca olvido a los estudiantes que son bien activos, okay. pero aquellos estudiantes que no encienden la cámara, que cuando yo les pregunto eh, no me responden, puedo asumir que quizás no están prestando atención solo se conectaron por tener una asistencia en la clase, pero no me prestaron atención. 
puede ser que de ellos me olvide, o sea, que si vamos a otro módulo, ni me recuerde, ¿ok? Pero si usted es bien activo, yo lo recuerdo, porque no sé, me, así me pasa siempre. Ok, asistencia al 100% de las clases, eso también es un requerimiento. Cumplir con los 120 minutos de la clase, como ustedes saben, son dos horas. Hay un récord que queda guardado en la plataforma aquí en Zoom eh, que le guarda todos los minutos que usted se haya ha conectado a la clase. No crea que eh, nadie se va a dar cuenta si usted solo se conectó una hora. ¿okay? Siempre, siempre ahí queda guardado. La asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones. Bueno, a mí no me gusta tomar en dos ocasiones, siempre lo hago en una. Eh, pero sí, cuando yo... A paso asistencia, por favor, responder que sí está, ¿ok? Porque puede ser que si no le pongo que no, que no estuvo. Se tomará, ok, bueno, cuando yo diga su nombre, usted dice presente o de la, alguna otra palabra que yo pueda identificar que sí está. Sesiones one on one, oh, disponibles, bueno, cuando de verdad es importante que yo ah, necesite hablar con usted, hago esto. Puedo, puedo decir flami, eh, el nombre de la persona y puedo decir, se queda cinco minutos al terminar la clase. Sí, de verdad es necesario, ¿ok? Pero casi no, si no es necesario, no lo hago. Dice que los permisos no disponibles, pero si es un permiso por una... Oh, situación que es grave, obviamente, ¿verdad? No, no se puede decirles que no. Eh, ok, esto es, son instrucciones de cómo usar la plataforma, ok, Zoom. Botón silencio, mute, ok, cuando usted no está participando. Como le digo, si usted no tiene ningún ruido en su casa, igual le puede tener eh, micrófono abierto, no hay problema. Tenemos que usar la cámara, tenemos chat. Si usted me quiere dejar un mensajito en el chat, está bien, por cualquier eh, inconveniente que, que tenga y no pueda usar el micrófono. Nosotros utilizamos bastante esta opción de breakout rooms. Okay. Hacemos grupos de trabajo por medio de, de, de Zoom. Hay opción de, de hacer grupos de, de trabajo. Puede ser que trabajen en pareja o grupos de tres o cuatro estudiantes para hacer una actividad. Okay. Ah, también tenemos la opción, si usted quiere pedir ayuda, okay. puede hacer eh, respeto ante todo. Okay. A veces hay situaciones que uno, eh, es imposible que no se, se ría de lo que sucede, pero se pide respeto, ¿ok? Respeto. Um, tareas y evaluaciones. En la semana 1, que es a partir de hoy, 21, al 25 de agosto vamos a tener la sección 1, ¿ok? Vamos a trabajar todas las tareas de la sección 1. Luego, las tareas de la sec sección 2 eh, y el meter exam va a ser del 28 al 1, ¿ok? La semana 3, sección 3, del 4 al 8 de septiembre. Y este módulo trae 5 semanas, ¿ok? En la semana 4, vamos a trabajar en la sección 4 y repaso de todo el módulo. Repaso de los temas que ustedes eh, sientan que les cuesta, vamos a repasarlos y también tenemos el final exam. Estas dos semanas están del 11 al 25. ¿Ok? ¿Tienen alguna duda? Rodrigo. ¿O eh, más? Lo voy a decir ahorita así en español. Eh, los módulos, bueno, veo que las secciones aquí en la plataforma, eh, wow. sí, ya de hecho aquí estoy en la plataforma, veo que dice sección 1, un tarea 1.1, 1, 
y, y después hay una serie como de botones eh, es donde dice tarea 1 creo que después dice 1.2 videoconferencia y así sucesivamente así es como se tiene que ver el, el, en el, la plataforma Es correcto, así es. Por ejemplo, ahora vamos a trabajar esa tarea al final. Si se fija, ah, son okay. tareas súper sencillas, es, es como práctica de gramática nada más. Eh, cinco uh, preguntas que hacemos al final de la clase. Aquí van a subir la vi videoconferencia. Cuando ya esté lista el video de hoy, va a ser subido acá, ¿ok? Ok, sí, porque veo que cada como botoncito tiene un chequecito verde, entonces como lo visto quizás por cada sesión, entendería Correcto. yo o algo así. Correcto, así es. Ah, ok, gracias. Ok, y el, el manual está aquí. Es un PDF. un poco lento, creo que porque, porque estoy uh, en, en la clase Zoom quita bastante velocidad, entonces quizás por eso está lento, pero aquí está el manual, tiene 41, 41 páginas 41. y ahí tenemos cuatro unidades, tienen diferentes temas, déjenme ver si lo tengo ya descargado para mostrárselo. Aquí está. Tenemos el nombre de cada unidad. Son cuatro unidades. Y acá tenemos como una pequeña descripción de, de cada unidad. Vamos a ver gramática, listening, reading, and writing. And also speaking, ok? We're going to do a lot of activities to practice your English. For example, today, the unit one, we're going to talk about restaurants, okay? And information related to restaurants. And also as part of the grammar will be Comparative adjectives. Okay. Okay, good. Alguien más tiene dudas, preguntas? Yo solo una consulta. Yo no me pude conectar, no me aparecía el link. ¿Cómo puedo tener acceso a ese link? Uh, ¿No le aparecía el link de la clase? Sí, de la clase no me aparecía. Eh, vaya, para iniciar todos ya están en el grupo. ¿En cuál grupo? En el grupo de... De WhatsApp, todos deberían de estar ahí. Yes, teachers. Okay. Yo todavía no. ¿Cómo puedo todavía hacer para accesarlo? No. En el primer correo que usted recibió, yo creo que recibo uno distinto, pero usted debió recibir uno uh, um, similar, donde le dan toda esta información. Aquí está el, la URL de, de la videoconferencia, que sería esta. Um, tenemos el link de, del chat de WhatsApp um, para que usted solo dé clic y ya se pueda unir. Um, bueno, lo demás es para mí, ¿ok? Uh, pero toda esa información la deberían de tener ustedes en el correo que les enviaron de inscripción. 
No, no me llegó eso. ¿No le llegó, Mauricio? En el no. eh, teacher, en el WhatsApp, eh, como de forma privada, enviaron esa información también. Yes. Ok, no le llegó ni un mensaje privado. Porque sí estoy viendo que en el, en el, en el grupo... En el general... chat del grupo no, no lo habían puesto, solo en el mensaje privado que le enviaron a cada uno. Ajá, correcto. Sí, de hecho, eh, Mauricio, eh, ahí te tuvo que haber escrito la persona que nos estuvo contactando uno a uno mm -hmm. y que creo que te tuvo que haber preguntado, o sea, de confirmar. De hecho, aquí, aquí estás en la lista, eso es el número 13. Entonces, te tuvo que haber escrito una chamaca, eh, perdón por decir así, pero para que nos entendamos, eh, y te tuvo que haber dado toda la info, te tuviste que haber dicho confirmo o algo, y después, por lo menos a mí el sábado me escribió y mm. me mandó como el usuario, me mandó el, el link acá de Zoom, y Cabal también por correo yo recibí la info. De hecho, por correo hice como la confirmación para poder entrar a la plataforma, como la cuenta. Ok. Ya voy a, mañana voy a escribir entonces. Porque sí me llegó lo, todos los accesos de todo lo que están viendo. Menos los links de la conferencia y del chat. Um, ok, entiendo. Pero por donde entró hoy puede, puede ingresar mañana igual. Perfecto, gracias. Igual, me voy a asegurar que siempre es, es, eh, reciban ese link, ok, porque sí, en el chat, ¿verdad? Es necesario que los, lo tengan para mayor seguridad que ustedes se puedan unir. Eh, voy a pasar lista en este momento, aprovechando que la tengo acá. No puedo modificar esto porque es un archivo privado. Se suponía que íbamos a iniciar el 9, pero no. No sé por qué no me deja. Mm. Ok. Let me see. Carlos Ernesto. No, no me deja escribir nada. Bueno, voy a pasar lista y lo voy a anotar simplemente. <coughs> I'm sorry. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño. No. He's not here. Okay. Cindy Janet. Tampoco está. Como oyente. Envió un mensaje al WhatsApp Carlos. Como oyente, pero no lo veo igual. Creo que solo. Solo puso conectó. el mensaje, pero. <ríe> bueno. Ok. Number three. Daniela Lisset. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Gilberto. Present teacher. Hazel Berenice. Present. José Andrés. Ah, él está como oyente. Julio Aristides. Present. Thank you, Julio. Okay, Katy Briseira. Present. Lady. Present teacher. María Leticia. Present teacher. <coughs> María, okay, Mauricio de Jesús. Yes, present teacher. Okay. Um, Mauricio Hernán Benavides. Presente. Ok. Robert. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. Silvia Estela. Present. 
Ok, a quien lo mencioné fue al, a Rodrigo, ¿verdad? Pero igual, Rodrigo está. I'm here. Ok, ok. Silvia Estela. Ok, Silvia. Escríbame, Silvia. Eh, Sofía Karina. Sofía. No. Ok. Mensaje envió Sofía. Radio oyente, dice Sofía. Y William Boyce. Ok, de mi Sofía. Ah, oh, sí. Ok, Cindy y Anet. Sí, no me ha enviado mensaje, ¿verdad? Ok. She will be the only one that is not here. Okay. And in. And Carlos. Okay. Well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, when it, this is fixed, I will add it, okay? No sé por qué no me funciona ahorita. Maybe someone tried to, to change. Silvia. Sé que estará de oyente, ¿ok? Porque no funciona el micrófono, entonces solo quede ese de oyente. Eh, pero trate mañana ya cambiar ese, ese device que usted está usando. No sé qué está usando. Computadora, tablet, teléfono. But try to, to switch that, to, to use a new one, ¿ok? Please. <coughs> Okay, guys, the agenda for today, we have uh, the course introduction that is done. Okay, ya hicimos eso. We're going to present the list object objectives. Uh, and, uh, and, well, presentation is already done. So you already did that. Uh, well, part of the presentation. And then we're going to continue um talking about comparative form of adjectives and the end we have a conversation practice okay good um so at the end of this class you will be able to introduce yourself well um we well i consider that i had that has that adjective has been uh, um reached because you already introduced what you have done during the previous weeks, okay? And also we are going to use a comparative form of adjectives, adjectives, okay? That will be um, the main lesson objective for this class. Maybe we can, we want to know a little bit about Rod Rodrigo uh, as introduction. Um, you didn't tell us where do you live, Rodrigo? What do you do? Or what 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 are your expectations about this model or to be here? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my name is Rodrigo Morales. I have 36 years old. I I marriage. Uh, I'm I'm uh, actually I'm work well actually I'm a business administrator. I'm working in a chemical in the chemical industry. Uh, so uh, because my work, I have a lot of contact with external providers, uh, like the eradicating Asia, Europe, USA, uh, South America. So. Uh, the main reason because I am here is because I want to practice my English. As I said before, I have the, I need to pra practice more English, my oral form. Uh, I, I have, uh, I, I need to remember some words, uh, I, especially from the past tense. And my that is one of my of my principal object objectives objectives, and so uh, that's why I'm here. So maybe 
maybe I can help anyone who wants it. So I'm here and I'm open to, to learn. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. I have just, uh, I have an observation. When you say your age, okay, cuando uh -huh. usted dice su edad. 36. Uh, I am. You are going to use to use the verb to be. No, I have. It, it is not correct to say I have. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also... You mentioned that you are married. 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 Ayan? Married. 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 Mm -hmm. married. Yes. Okay. Marriage. Married. Estoy casado, right? Married. Right. Married. Married. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Thank you so much for that Thank you to you. Okay. Thank you to you. So the rest, they already know each other because they have been studying the previous um, previous models together. But um, with the time, you are going to know a little bit about each one, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because of the time, because if I... If I um, use like the time to introduce everyone it will be maybe uh 30 minutes okay for that so that is why we're going to to skip that part but you will know all of them but uh, with the days that you interact with them okay 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 good uh for today so we have the comparative adjectives, as you may know. That is the, the grammar part of this uh, class. So I have first an activity just to introduce, just to introduce the uh, comparative adjectives. Maybe you know a little bit about that. Okay, but if you don't if you don't know about what are the comparative adjectives, so we are going to review that today. In this case, okay, it's more tall. A. More tall. B. B. More tall. My sister B. is more tall. tall. More tall taller. or taller than me. Taller than me. Okay, taller uh -huh. than me. ¿Qué es taller, teacher? Alto. Mm -hmm. Ah. Más alto. Yes. Faster. Okay, Ma the blue car is more fast or faster than the red car? Faster. It's faster. Okay, faster than the red car. If you realize, we use these adjectives to compare two different scenes. In this case, we are comparing two cards, okay? One that is blue and one that is red, okay? Okay, this jacket is? Expensive. More expensive. Or more, more expensive. expensive. More, more expensive. expensive than? A t-shirt. Okay, very good. This room is more colorful. More colorful. 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 More colorful than my room. Okay. Later on, we're going to see why we use uh more and why we use um the other adjective okay okay the blue wall is heavier 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 than a dolphin okay heavier. the tiger is more strong or stronger than a cat 
stronger. 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 Stronger than a cat. Okay. Playing. She is, is interesting or, or more interesting than puzzles? More interesting. More interesting. Okay, more interesting. Okay, you said both is more fast or faster than me? Faster. Faster. Okay, faster than me. Spain is bigger or more big than Andorra? Bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Canada is colder or more cold than Spain? Colder. Colder. Okay, colder than Spain. Okay. Skin is is dangerous or more dangerous than ping pong? More dangerous. More dangerous. More dangerous. Okay, good. Math is more difficult or a difficult than English? More difficult. More difficult. More difficult. Okay. Very good. Okay, good job. Good job. So that is just an introduction. And now we're going to see more details wh why we use more or why we use just the uh, the adjective plus er, okay? Or in some cases we add just r, okay? Also, if the adjective have a Y at the end, we can change that and we can use, we can add I, E, R, okay? We're going to see the reasons. Okay, very good. Okay, but we have another question before going to the grammar rules and practice about that. We have another question here about your favorite restaurant. What is your favorite restaurant? Okay. What makes this restaurant a special place? What is more popular in your city? Okay. Here we are using comparative adjectives. Okay. More popular. Okay. In your city. Takeout or delivery service. Okay. Okay. Volunteers. I need volunteers. Tell me uh, what is your favorite restaurant? What make that restaurant special for you? Uh -huh. Volunteers? Or do you want the, the Willow's names? Quieren la ruleta? Okay. Andres? We have the two first volunteers. Andres, tell me. What, tell me what is your favorite uh, restaurant? I have a lot of different restaurants, teacher, but in my case, I like the uh, Chinese food. So if you want to visit or from, um, it's located in, in El Salvador del Mundo, Panda food, or oh, that is a Chinese food. So, in the in the restaurant makes a special dish, but for me, it mm -hmm. is better um, the sweet chicken, orange yeah. sweet chicken. I think it's like that, orange sweet chicken. And um, uh, what is more popular in your city? I, I don't know, I don't really know because in my city, I have a lot of restaurants. But I think, I don't know, possible pupuserias. <laughs> One is more more famous, more in, in TikTok, that you can see, or if you see, that you, that they say um, you can eat, all of you can eat pupusas from $3. Really? Of Flor de Colón, yeah. And you can find in TikTok the different videos. So if you want to eat, a lot of pupusa, 
you can go in this place and you can eat all of the pupusas that you can eat from three dollars just for three dollars for three dollars yeah. wow just, what is the name of that place and, <laughs> And that is uh, located in Lourdes, Colón. In Lourdes, okay. So you, you, can go find, there. you can find the different videos on TikTok. So you can find like pupusas for $3. <laughs> um, and what is um, take off of the liberal service? Yeah, I, I, the, I think that the more application for I can use is uh, pedidos ya in Spanish. <laughs> and because, uh, for example, if I wanna, if I want uh, Chinese food, I can, I can, well, I can receive my food from this application. Okay, good. So Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Andres. Very good. Okay, what about you, Robert? Hello, teacher. Hi. Okay, uh, the question, what is your favorite restaurant? Mm -hmm. My favorite restaurant around my, my job is La Bendición. The restaurant is very famous in the, in Lourdes, Colón. And this restaurant made different food dishes, for example, chicken, fish, and, and different place. Uh, the the price of the the food dishes is around five dollar and you can eat a lot and you can you can be full with because um, the food is very is is a big dish yeah and I think in the restaurant La Bendición is cheaper than than Pollo Campero because in, in Pollo Campero, you can find menu around seven or $10. In my opinion, uh, this restaurant is very good and you can find a lot, a lot of dishes. I, I, will take, I will take your opinion because I'm very near to the La Bendición. I'm, I'm, I'm live here in Ciudad Marsella. So I think I will go to visit there. Um, Eat some of the of their food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So you can go uh, there, Rodrigo, and taste. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. You can go there. Ah, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, I want. Yeah. I visit the the this shopping mall, uh, Pasares. Uh, eh, pasar, eh, this eh, la bendición is in, in shopping mall pasar so eh, I have I have some eh, I'm cu curious about the la bendición so I already hear the opinion of my neighbor so I I will take this and go to visit her. <laughs> okay, good. Let us know when you go. Okay. Thank you so much, Roberto Carlos. Okay, another okay. volunteer. Just is answer what is your favorite restaurant? Okay, why uh, it is special for you? And what is more popular in your city or in your uh, neighborhood? Take out, take out means if you go out to eat, or you request like a delivery service. Mm -hmm. No more volunteers to answer this question? <clears throat> okay, so we're going to continue. Let me see. Okay, I'm so sorry. Let me see what is happening here.
Can you see my screen, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, how to use comparative adjective. Now we're going to read a little bit about rules, okay? Pay attention. Um, we use comparative form of adjective to compare two people, okay? Or things or animals, okay? For example, delivery service is better than takeout. Okay, we are comparing their delivery service, okay, or takeout, okay. Um, when the adjective has one or two syllables, make the comparative by adding ER, okay, to the end of the adjective. Then use done after the adjective, okay. We're going to see some examples. The, the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one that is in the main street. Okay. Cheaper means that is uh, less expensive. Okay. You will pay less money. Uh, in this case, because this, it is... If you count the syllables, how many syllables do you do you count here? Mm -hmm. Two, one syllable. Remember that the syllables are the ones, the sounds, I mean, like uh, if we said ship, it is one syllable, right? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is why we are going to add E-R. Okay, para hacer la comparación. But if the adjective is, it has more than two syllables, for, for example, beautiful, 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 okay? So in this case, we're going to add more to compare, okay? If it has two syllables, okay? we're going to uh, use um, more. More than two, more than sorry, two. more than two syllables. Mm -hmm. When the adjective has more than two syllables, we are going to use more, okay? Okay, we have here another example. The waiters at the French toast are faster, okay, faster than the waiters at the bomb cafe, okay? Ellos son más rápidos. In this case, because this is a short adjective, yeah. we are going to add just E, R, faster than, okay? That word then will be after the adjective. It doesn't matter if that is short or is longer. Another example that we have here, specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Okay. Los platos especiales, okay, con especialidad, are more expensive. They cost more money than the rest of the menu. Teacher. Yes. Uh, when you visit Pizza Hut, and you you eat in the restaurant is more expensive than than when you you deliver pizza because um, for example if you can eat in the restaurant you can spend around for two people for 20 30 30 dollar but if you if you take out take out a pizza, you can lose around fifteen or twenty dollar. Mm -hmm. I think it's more it's more expensive to eat in the restaurant. 
it is it is more expensive because you have to tip. pay also tip tip what is the tip propina mm -hmm. you have to pay the service right that they gave they give you when you are there that is why it's more expensive and probably the options that they have available in the in the restaurant in the menu are more expensive than the one that you can just uh request for delivery, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I I consider if you compare, if you compare like at the pizzas that you have uh, in the restaurant, if you go there. Or the ones that you request uh as a delivery, or if the or you can also order online and you can go to the place just to take it. That is cheaper than the one that you request um delivery service or in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Uh let me see. Questions about this? The difference between them when we're going to add ER at, to the ad, adjective and when we're going to add more. Do you have questions? No? Okay. We're going to see uh, in the rest of the class if you have, okay? Okay. Uh, here we have more examples, okay? There are two ways to make or form comparative adjectives, okay? Short adjectives, okay, add ER. Long adjectives use more, okay? okay. Short ad adjectives, for example, we have here all, fast, okay? Uh, syllables, adjectives ending in Y, for example, happy or easy, okay? In this case, we are going to delete the letter Y and we're going to add I-E-R, happier or easier. Happier, okay? easier. Mm -hmm. Here we have all older, okay? Late, later, okay? Big, bigger. In this case, if the adjective ends in a consonant vowel, consonant double, double the last consonant, okay? In this case, in this adjective, we're going to double the last consonant that is what, which letter is this one? G. G. Okay. Good. Variation. If the adjective ends in Y, change the Y to I. I. Mm -hmm. Happier. Okay. Good. A uh, lot adjectives use more. Okay, we have examples here, syllable, syllables, adjectives not ending in Y. Um, for example, modern, pleasant, okay? More modern, okay? More pleasant, okay? All adjectives of three or more syllables, okay? Example, expensive, intellectual, okay? More expensive or more intellectual okay but there are some exceptions that we're going to see with uh, some of two syllables adjective we can use er or more not all some of them okay um for example with this one quiet we can use it in the two ways okay Okay, quiet or more quiet. Okay, clever, cleverer or more clever. Mm -hmm. Narrowed, okay, 
narrower or more narrow. Simple, simpler or more simple. Okay, in this, with these adjectives, we can use both of them and they are okay, okay? And also we have irregular forms. Do you remember the irregular verbs that they change? So in this case, uh, these are examples of irregular forms, irregular adjectives. We have more, not only this, we have more, but the examples that we have here, okay? Good, better, okay? If we compare two scenes, okay, for example, this is a uh, Samsung and this is a uh, iPhone. So how you are going to compare them? Uh-huh. Using the adjective good. Error. Better. Uh -huh. Apple is better than Samsung. <laughs> okay, very good. Coral okay. is better than Samsung. Okay, good example. Okay, well, mm -hmm. the comparison will be also better. Okay, the that is well. About, about healthy. Mm, yeah, about healthy. I hope you get better. Okay. Mm. Okay. Espero que te mejores, espero que estés mejor que antes, ok, I'm comparing, porque antes estabas enferma, and now uh, I hope you get better, ok. Ok, uh, bad. Worse, ok. Si estás mal, es peor, ok. Peor que antes. Far. We can say farther or further. Both are valid. Farther or further. Yes. But it's the meaning of further. Okay, further. what is the meaning of far? Do you know? Further, it's con lejos. Mm -hmm. Lejos. Y si lo comparamos, ¿cómo sería? Más lejos. Más lejos. Mm -hmm. Oh, lejísimo. <laughs> okay. San Miguel is farther than San Vicente. Uh huh. Good example. Okay. Both of, I mean, both of them, farther and farther and farther are the same. Okay. Good. Now we're going to practice here. We have a conversation where we can add vocabulary and part of the grammar that we already reviewed, okay? Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers, okay? Read the conversation and complete the statements below. Okay, first we're going to read the conversation. I need two volunteers. One, one will be Luigi and the second one will be Carla. Okay, Andres, thank you so much. And Roberto, Julio, lady. Okay, keep your hands there because uh, to make sure that you participate, okay? Mantenga las manitas levantadas y va a participar. Sorry, how, 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 how can I raise the, the hand? In, in the in the zoom is there in uh, in you the can emoji of the you can see the main bar that you have different options there and reacciones yeah mm. reactions okay so uh, yes, yes. thanks yes, okay. yeah Okay, thank you. Okay, first will be Andres and Lady. 
Okay, teacher. Maybe we need oil reader. Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Read the conversation, complete the stand Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese, but cheeses better than the than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have a more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make delivery. No, no, the secret is the sauce. It is not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout take orders. So let's start with chat. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty of the house. <clears throat> Thank you, ladies. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you too. Okay. Customer. Repeat that, Andres, please. Customer. C customer. Mm -hmm. It is like customer. Okay, customers. Customer. Customer. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, now will be uh, Julio and Daniela. Okay, me Luigi. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So uh, we get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Louis, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than that. Or pizzeria. They have a more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hear her. A hire. person hire a person to make deliveries. Uh, no, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers, and we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Uh, yes. Carla, uh, you are a genius. Then uh, we will add more cheese and more sauce. Uh, that will be the new speciality of the house. Okay. Thank you, Dani. It's thank you. A specialty of the house. A specialty. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, Julio. Uh, now, Gilberto and Maria Leticia. Okay. Maria Leticia. Really? Starting. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheeks is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is so small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hear a person to make delivery. No, no, no. The secret is in the south. It's not 
the cheese of sub or sauce lady we have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive takeout order so let's start with that yes carla you are a genius then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty of the house okay very good thank, thank you so much thank you okay higher repeat that maria leticia higher Higher. 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 You know higher. what is the meaning, right? When you hire a person, it's when you give give a, a job to someone, okay? To hire a hire a person. Higher. 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 Mm -hmm. una persona. Okay. okay. Good. Thank you so much. Uh Hilbert uh Hilberto and Maria Leticia. Now Robert and Mauricio. Robert, you will be Luigi. Okay. Are you ready, Mauricio? Mauricio. Hello. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think uh, our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is blower than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the south of the of the house. The specialty of the house. Very good. Thank you. Genius. Repeat that, um, Robert. Genius. 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 You are genius. a genius. Genius. Yes. Okay. Genius. You are a genius. Thanks. And Mauricio, thank you. Mauricio, please be yes. bigger than. Bigger than. Yes. Okay, very okay. good. Okay. Good job. Thank you so much, both of you. Okay, guys, do you have questions about this conversation, about vocabulary, new vocabulary that you may found there? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. It's about conversation, for him, for example, when I have different conversation with other person and we use adjectives to compare. And for example, if I talk about restaurant and I say the, the restaurant La Bendición is more, is more famous than Los Tres Cerditos, mm -hmm. uh, I use a comparative and mm -hmm. When use the the first sentences, I I, I be continuous uh, speak about the restaurant, the other characteristics, or or always with adjective. If you compare, yeah, you always will use adjectives. Mm -hmm. Only only first sentences. And we continue talk about other characteristics. Uh, or well, sent all sentences use adjective. If you compare, okay, if you compare like the prices, or you will be using uh adjectives. For example, you can say, uh, is uh, the food is more delicious 
Ah, uh, no. Okay. The Bendition restaurant, okay, has more delicious food than uh, Los Tres Arditos restaurant, okay? Also, no. the prices are more, um, well, it depends if that they are cheaper or they are uh, expensive, right? The price, Delicious. the price, the price is, is cheaper or is it more expensive? So if you compare like the characteristics, okay, if you describe the places, we always were going to use adjectives, okay? Because the adjectives okay. are used to describe. If you are comparing, you are going to make them compares, comparatives, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. I got it. Okay. Good. Another question that you may have about this? No? Take um, out is is para llevar. Take out. No. Take out no. is if you go to that place, okay? Take out, they are talking about take take out. We don't receive take out orders. It means like that someone out. will go there to to eat to the place. Mm -hmm. the, that is why she's saying that they need tables. Okay, they need eat more at tables. the Mm-hmm. To go is, okay. is, is when you take the, the food to your house. The delivery service is when is when you you ask for for the food that someone can deliver that food to your house, right? But and take I my house. Uh huh. Take out is when you go to the place. Okay. Uh huh. Take out someone. When you take, when you request someone to go out with you. Uh oh, let me see. Okay, good. We're going to continue. Discuss answers to questions below. Uh -huh. Okay, here we're going to use the adjectives that we have learned. Who wants to answer the first one? Number one? She is better than that, Perani. Okay. She is better than, is better than Perani. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Number two? The restaurant next door is bigger than. It's bigger than the pizza. Okay, the restaurant next door is bigger than our pizza. Yeah, okay. They have more beautiful, beautiful decoration than this place. Okay. As you can see, there is a comparison between two places. Okay, and you will see, you can see the differences, right? Okay. Let me see. Okay, we have here another exercise. Okay, match the restaurant industry words in their meanings. Did you know all of them? For example, a specialty, okay, buffet, book at, at the table, take out and delivery. Especially a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. A specialty is a dish, a dish that is extremely good dish. in a particular restaurant. Okay, very good. Yes, that is that is a specialty. Buffet. Oh, buffet. buffet. That is the correct Different. pronunciation. I'm sorry. Buffet. Different dishes. 
Different dishes place. Different dishes place in different. a public, a public uh, area <clears throat> where people, where people serve dancers. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Book at a table. To make a reservation at a restaurant. A reservation at a restaurant. Okay. Uh, take out. A perfect meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Okay, a package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Okay, well, in this case, uh, uh -huh. you are right. So take out, in, there are different meanings. There are different meanings of take out because it is a phrase. <laughs> but in this context, yes, it is a food that you buy in a restaurant and you are going to eat that in another place. Uh -huh, that will be take out. And delivery? You can call a restaurant. When you call a restaurant, order food. And order food and it they take it home. to your home. Okay, that is delivery. Okay, very good. Good job. Okay, uh, now we have more exercises here. We're going to compare. We're going to compare. Uh, let me see. So you already know the rules, how to use the short adjectives and also the long adjectives, okay? How will be the first one? Giraffes are taller than horses. Okay. Giraffe. Giraffe are taller, taller than horses. Than horse. okay. Okay, good. Number two. Elephants, elephants are bigger, elephants are bigger than cow. cow. cows. Cow. Okay. Cow. Elephants are bigger than cows. cows. Okay, very good. Giraffe are more beautiful than snakes. More beautiful, more beautiful than snakes. Okay, nice. giraffe are more beautiful than snakes. Snake. Okay. Number four. Yeah. Sheep are fatter than goats. Goat. Goat. Mm -hmm. Sheep. Goats. Sheep are. Mm -hmm. Fire than goat. Do you know what a goat? Cabras. Yes. Okay. You are the goat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Snake. Snakes are more dangerous than hen. Okay. Snakes are more dangerous than hens. Hen. Okay. What is the meaning of hens? <coughs> uh, it is an adult female chicken. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, an adult female chicken. Okay, often kept for its eggs. Okay, good. Uh, calves are slower slower than, than lions okay horses are louder than giraffes and giraffe giraffe and louder than than giraffe giraffe okay very good 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 practice there okay we have here another practice
Okay, Maria Leticia, number one, tell me. Jake's room is? Jake's room is? Is? Um, I, more small. Small. More small, small or small? <coughs> It is a short uh, adjective. Small, huh? Smaller. Uh -huh. Smaller. In this Smaller. case, smaller Larry's. than Larry's, uh, Larry's room. Uh -huh. Mauricio, number two. The blue car, it's nicer than the, than the black car. It's more nice, but sorry, it's more nice. Nicer, right? Nicer, the sorry. blue car is nicer than the blue car. Okay. Remember, if that is the adjective end in E, we are going to add just the letter R. R. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo, number three. The exercise yeah. is? Um, I have dogs, but I think Boringer. More uh, okay. boring. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. More boring than the one that than that one. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. His pullover is darker. Darker than his jeans. Okay. Very good. Lady number five. Susan's hair is longer than my hair. Longer, right? Susan's hair is longer than my hair. Okay. Uh, Gilberto, George. George is funniest, <clears throat> funniest than Robert. Funnier, yes, okay? Funnier. We change, we, we yes. delete the Y and we add I E R. Yes. Okay, thank you. Andres, number seven. My result in the test was better than Harris. Better. Very good. There we are using irregular adjectives. Uh -huh. Okay. Hazel. Uh, gold is more ex more expensive than silver. More expensive. Okay, very good. This is an, a, a long adjective. More expensive. Okay, Robert. Christine is smarter than Alice. Smarter than Alice. Okay, very good. Um, number 10, Sophia. I think is listening. Oh, Sophia is just listening. Okay, Kathy, Briseida. Football is um, more popular. More that popular. popular. That have a number. Okay, very good. I'm going to check. Oh, we have 10 of 10. Very good. You are good. So you can see, they are very easy, okay? We're reviewing here just comparative adjectives at this moment. Later on, we're going to uh, see the superlatives, okay? That are familiar there are they follow the same rules but in a different way okay with this but we're going to compare or we are going to review also comparative adjectives when we study the superlative adjectives okay good 
good practice. Okay, so brainstorm a list of other restaurant services you have experienced. Are they as popular as delivery or takeout? Why do you think so? Mm -hmm. Okay, think about that. And you are going to work with someone. I'm going to open the rooms. We're going to work around 12 minutes, okay? Uh, 10 minutes talking about uh, a restaurant. You are going to prepare a scenario. For example, you are in your favorite restaurant and you want to order food, okay? And um, someone will take your order, okay? You are going to be there with with someone. It could be your friend or your family member, and you are going to have a conversation. Okay, I'm going to make groups of three students each group. One will be the um the one that is taking the orders, and the other two will be talking about the food or you know, comparing like uh, different food that you. That you have eaten. Um, I don't know if you have questions before we go. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to have the conversation. So to, today just organize the ideas that you're going to say. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Voy a hacer los grupos de tres, ¿ok? Uno va a ser el mesero, los otros dos van a ser los que ordenan la comida y van a hablar de la comida que, que ustedes han probado en ese restaurante o van a comparar eh, la comida que venden ahí con otro restaurante. Ideas que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? The main purpose is that you use compar comparison, ¿ok? That you compare. Is it clear, guys? Or do you have more uh, examples? Or if you have questions, please let me know. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No, no. no. Good. It's clear. No, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> let me open the rooms. Only 10 minutes, van a ir ahí, porque luego vamos a hacer la tarea. Create. Andrés Martínez, are you, are you, um, Yes, available? teacher, I am here. Available. Yeah, I am available. Yeah. Okay, thank Okay, there you go.
Maurício. Maurício, are you there? Right now, right now here, I uh, meanwhile, I talk with you, I have a, a Chinese person ask me some things because uh, they're in China uh, in the morning right now. Uh, okay. so I, I have so many contacts, uh, as, as, as you say, as, as you see. Okay, um, Rodrigo, don't worry. Um, in this course, you, you learn some, uh, a lot of skill to uh, speak English. Um, uh, I listen to you for your work. Uh, you you know different people, and you you speak English with with them. Um, for for now, don't worry about the about the rules, about the the simple present, simple past, future, will, what we're going to. Uh, you learn in in the process this month. Okay. Oh. Entonces, go ahead, Katy. Okay. Este sería entonces el tercero. Come rico restaurantes. Uh -huh. Yo pensaba que podía hacer como el saludo, presentarme y decirles que es como un placer atenderles. 